Now growing concern about sex offenders going unsupervised. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Jenna Hanchard talked with one man who knows the importance of the sex offender program. Well, Krista, this all deals with the budget in Kansas. The bills with the court's budgets are now in their final stages. Tonight, those who work for the judicial system fear if they're not fully funded, sex offenders could go off the grid. About 3,000 offenders walk through this Johnson County government building to see someone like Lisa Fleming. What we really need for, is for these offenders to get involved with services that will help them better their life. Fleming is a court services officer and has a caseload of about 90 sex offenders. Right now, she's afraid the Kansas budget will not fully fund the court system and force employees to take dozens of furlough days. We kind of put all the puzzle pieces together, and I think if we're not here for any length of time, for a lot of these people that come and see us, it's chaos. And it's also a big public safety factor. Fleming helps people like John Christow's son. If something happened with uh, our granddaughter and, and, and my son. His son, Alan, is now a convicted and registered sex offender and faces several mental issues. John's son visits Lisa to get assistance on counseling and group home services. She organizes a plan of how to you know, make sure that he's in a place where he can be safe and where he won't get into any trouble anymore. But judges across the state, including Kelly Ryan, say the judicial budget is about $5 million short for 2016 and about $10 million short for 2017, and says these court services and the people they serve could be at risk. There's a lot of people that are not in prison that are out on the streets, and they have to be monitored. We reached out to Senator Jeff King tonight. He serves on the, ju the Judicial Budget Subcommittee. He wasn't available, but he previously said the amount that they are getting hasn't gone down, and they are just not getting any of the enhancements that they want. Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.